What up, what, what, what up? You can't see me here today, back again, back again with a new title, an independent release, The Last Federation. And The Last Federation is a turn-based tactical combat sim. It's a 4X joint, and man, I am really feeling it. And I got a shout out, Ark and Games, for turning me on to this. Man, I appreciate that because this is a deep, deep sim. You know, it's eight races. They're all distinct, and you're trying to unite them as a federation. But you're a murdered race, and y'all were dictators before you were murdered, before your homeworld was gone. So people hate you and distrust you. Then you stole their ship after they captured you, so that ain't the best setup. That ain't the best setup. So basically, you uh, use manipulation tactics, um, you just use politics, you use all these elements, plus you use fighting and war to help get people on your side to form this federation. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one. I have barely got to touch it, so y'all are really starting this with me, all right? I am the last of the murder race of Hydras we took to the stars and shot down the man launches of everyone else. My countrymen, the dictators of the solar system. So we kinda had it coming, that's me. I was the sole survivor of a surprise attack by two other races thanks to the renegade mission I undertook betraying the other Hydras to bring uh, technology. Okay. My ultimate goal, the creation of a peaceful unified federation of planets. Only then can we be safe from the kind of atrocities my race committed and the kinds that we committed. Naturally, upon my crash landing at this planet, I was placed in captivity, having no concept of my strength. They did not realize I was merely waiting. My dream of a universal federation is alive as ever. And now the Accutants have finally gotten themselves into orbit. After spending so much time with me and this peaceful captive, they were ill prepared for my escape. I have commandeered the first prototype executor. So now they mad because I done busted out. The Accutants are still in the process of ramping up their space industry. So that gives me a shot, a short window of opportunity. But soon their mechanical CEDs will be looking to make a planetary acquisition. So basically, they not in space like that yet. They are, but they ain't really that big of a force. I outclassed this force severely. That would be almost impossible to lose. So now's a good time to put my ship through its paces and learn the game. It's always the lonely flagship, plus whatever NPC allies you can muster versus an intermediate number of foes. Combat is turn-based with everyone moving and acting the same time after you give your ship the order. Okay, that's the map over there. Uh, first get the business to ship movement. Okay. So we can move the ship. See the hull has 289,000. The shield uh, has about 400,000. Newly stolen flagship. It's not going to help have any friends or many friends. But I have a choice to dock with them as opposed to fighting them. But we ain't docking with nobody. We at war. We firing it out. We not docking with them and giving them our technology peacefully. Okay, so that's one of their ships. I promise I won't bug you constantly, but for the first battle, there are a few things to point out. Look at the bottom of your screen. You have some new options. First of all, you have three different weapons. Okay, those are the weapon choices. Multiple attack modes. Hold fire, auto fire, select targets. Choosing the right weapon and the best attack is a big part of winning the battles. Hover over the enemy ships. Okay, so you got different types of shots you can take. And you got different modes. Uh, you're currently in auto fire mode. Okay, so I'm in auto fire mode, but I'm sure I can choose uh, which ship I want to fire at. Okay, so we're moving around. All right, this looks kind of like uh, it's 2D, so it's kind of old school, Galaga y, uh, Asteroids y, but we're in a newer uh, way with more going on. Okay, hold fire, auto fire. These are my options. I'm going to leave it on auto fire for a second. And um, then I may actually put it on fire at selected ships so I can choose the ship I want to shoot at. Okay. But I see the three ships that I got to go at. Because um, it says destroy all the flagships. And like I said, there's three remaining. 
All right, all right, all right. Or you can fire at an exact point. Basically kind of shoot ahead of them if you see them running into it. Or just hold your fire, okay. Mini gun, these are my different types of guns. Okay, okay. So I see you can move around, you kind of choose where you go. And after you click, um, it kind of fires. The auto fire is gonna fire different ships, or you can just choose the main ship. So I'm kind of focusing on this ship over here. Um, I see his shields are wearing down. He has, and then I can get to the hull. So yeah, I stay over here, keep following this dude, take out one at a time. Okay. Okay, most battles have a single objective, but that objective may involve multiple parts. This particular battle has two objectives, either of which you can choose. I can destroy the flagships to gain credits. Alternatively, I can dock in their science lab. And that's peaceful, but I gotta give up technology which will help them grow. A lot of missions have completely optional side objectives. Okay, let's keep going. Let's take out these flagships. They send in little drone ships at me. But I got my eyes on the prize. Okay, up until now I've been attacking and the shields are down now. So the best weapon may change. Okay, damage per second. So I could choose from these different th these three different guns. One of them basically is better with shields, then one of them is better at tearing down the hull. some of these ships okay flagship power management unlock I swear this is the last time I interrupt you during this battle but now you're getting a few turns in it's one more thing I need to know increasing the power of the weapons gives you higher damage shields give you faster shield regen engines give you faster movement okay Just click on the various bars or use the hotkeys. You can automatically change power base control if you don't do anything. Okay, they'll automatically make some adjustment. Okay. Uh, doesn't make manual management pointless. The automatic does. Okay. I'm low on health, so I'm needing to crank up the shields. I need to be able to maneuver carefully. Let's get over this quick. So it's basically just telling you to put, you know, the different um, amounts into these different tiers depending on what you want. Better tuning arcs. Yeah, yeah, you just choose which thing you want to pump up more. You want to shoot more and get, get more impact out of the weapons. You want to move faster. You want to have better shields, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now he said he wasn't going to interrupt me no more, so we going to see. I can take out these flagships in peace. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on this one. I'm on this one. I'm tearing him up. Ooh. Yeah, done, Zos. Yeah, done. I'm trying to get some of these other little ships that's going around. I'm trying to kill as much as I can, even though I'm just supposed to be targeting the larger ships. I'm trying to take out every right? Okay. Let's see. So I got like a laser, a minigun, and one other gun. Yeah, we about to take them out. We about to take them out. Come on, man, blow them up.
tearing these ships up, tearing these flagships up. And take out their little rogue ships. You want to be a part of the battle, you can get it too. You can get it though. Trying to take out this last flagship. One remaining. You can see it up at the top. You see the mini map on the right. He's almost done. But he just won't blow up. Come on, man. Go on and blow up so I can move to the next stage. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Trying to take out some other ships. This last one don't want to die, but I'm trying to get as many points as I can off these other rando ships before I take out the big boss. Boss. Shit, almost done though. Almost done with the destroy all flagships. There we go. Oh, and it warped us out. But it looks like you still have to click end combat. Okay, they lost 10 base power points to AccuChins. 28 effective now. 39 turns. Took a total of 452,768 shield damage. 133 hostile ships destroyed 126 ships okay okay this is a good place to bring this one to a close you can't see me the last federation arkin games and we're gonna keep going with this series so make sure you check and stay with us all right make sure you like make sure you subscribe 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 and leave comments and let me know what you think all right and you know what else you gotta do Make your next move your best move. Peace. You can see me, your favorite gamer. Zoom, 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 let go. Zoom, 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 let go.